Hey guys, today I'll be covering the usage cases for the six ARs released during the New Year period. No discussion this time around, since I betrayed Irby and Zoxus' trust and was excommunicated from them forever. Just kidding, they just don't want to do this batch, and neither did I, but I guess here I am doing it now because I'm obsessed with this game. I'll begin with the free ARs obtained from the Fortune Gacha, whose duplicates are easily obtained. As such, I will be discussing these ARs with the assumption they're at level 100. The Wakon Taurus Mask AR gives the Equifine unit the ability to remove a debuff from allies left and right of them after moving, making it ideal for units that already have a move-dependent facilitative role. It also gives a massive attack boost and strengthens charge attack damage, making it suitable for making damage dealers even more lethal. The Shenong Gumao AR heals the equipping unit when they miss or are debuffed, complementing units that debuff themselves or are already rely on missing. That coupled with the high max HP bonus also makes this card ideal on tanks. Next up are the new ARs from the Oxyard AR Gacha. The Tetsuox Naja AR bestows movement expansion and acceleration to the equipper post strike, making it suitable for units who attack and move regularly. The blow restriction makes units that fit this criteria quite sparse, but a handful can still benefit. Note that movement expansion stacks with native extended movement, so this can especially parallel with those units for maneuverability dominance. The Hanwan Tetsuox AR amplifies the equipper's damage by 1.5 times, given the carry guts. Naturally, this AR would pair well with units that can keep their guts up. The Asterius Taurus Mask AR gives the equipper the ability to pull units within shot range directly in front of them, in the same way Jacob or the protagonist can. Equip this AR on damage dealers with limited range. The AR also bestows CP to the equipper post strike, but at low max level, it only gives a trivial amount. If you do happen to get multiple loops of this AR though, equip it on anyone with a large attack range and a good charge attack. The Snow Yumo AR attenuates incoming damage by 0.8 times of all your team members on the board when the equipper first arrives on battle. It also bestows nourishment to the equipper post strike. Equip this AR on units that can bestow nourishment to their allies, especially on those that are also tanks. And with that, all the new ARs have been covered. Originally this was going to be a stream, but I decided since it was just going to be me and it might have been awkward with just me kind of reading out the short things without any dissenters, I might speed things up by just having this as a video instead. However, I mean speed up in the sense that the video is shorter, because this certainly did not speed up the development time. In fact, it made it much longer. But it's been a while since I've made a video like this, so it's good to keep these kind of skills sharp. Thank you for joining me again. I will see you whenever I want to make another video stream, and have a good one. Bye-bye.